Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. In your office, is there a sense of geopolitical competition in a positive way? I'm not talking about war, hot war or economic wars at all. When you see Vietnam becoming a manufacturing hub or Indonesia growing, is there a positive sense of competition? Look, these are friendly countries. Vietnam is a geopolitical ally. So we, we have no problem with them growing. I don't know why everybody makes a fuss about it. But again, be factual. We get three to four times more foreign direct investment than Vietnam. Okay, look it up. Their economy is a fraction of our size. So I'm glad some investment is also going to them and we live in a competitive world. We, you know, sometimes we'll win, sometimes they'll win. It's fine. But to say that they have won the, you know, uh, China plus one strategy or they, are they have taken all the manufacturing FDI, that's totally not the case. As I said, you have to look at the facts. Just go back again, same IMF website, look at their FDI in 2023 or 22, maybe the la latest data now available and look at how much we are getting. It will be usually three, four times their size. Um, and our economy is maybe eight times their size. Mm. Just go and check what the data is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but you can pull it up on your... Okay, so I think Atharv has pulled out something. Looks like a pretty self-explanatory yeah. graph. So if you look here again, this is the FDI graphs of India and Vietnam. You can see that till 2000, both of us were not getting very much FDI, but then India began to gather pace. And then more recently, Vietnam has also gathered pace. As I keep telling you whether it's Bangladesh or Vietnam, I wish them well. Uh, but, you know, to say that all the FDI is going off to Vietnam is not true. We, we are clearly getting more FDI than uh, Vietnam. But of course, they are a smaller country. So it, it, you, in, a, in a sense, each dollar is a bigger bang for their buck. But in absolute terms, we are getting more, um, uh, you know, uh, more FDI than Vietnam is by some margin, as you can see. The engineer in me sees two spikes in 2008 and 2020. Yeah. Could you explain those oh, two those spikes? Oh, those are simple to explain. You see, you have to understand that when you have dramatic reductions in interest rate in the world for because of whatever reason, say in 2020, 21, you saw the COVID thing. So dramatic reduction. So there's lots of liquidity in the world. There's lots of money in the world. And then money is then available for investing. So in both 2008, there was a crisis and there was a 2020, 2021, there was a crisis. So in both cases, the Fed cut interest rates. There was lots of money sloshing around. So that resource was some part of it ended up being diverted to us. So when the Fed cuts interest rates, yes, rich people all over the world, I'm assuming, especially... It's not just rich people, com corporations, even yeah. middle class, I'm, whatever. I'm, I'm simplifying. Huh. Uh, okay, people with money... Say that, hold on, now where should I put my money in order to make it increase as fast as possible? That's what leads to FDI increases. Some part of that, uh, yeah. I mean, at a very, very simple level, that's what happened. FDI is done by corporations. Uh, so corporations suddenly are flooded with cash uh, or they can borrow it if necessary. And then some of that, some part of that money ends up in places like India. Okay. Or Vietnam or Bangladesh. And as I, as I keep saying that, look, we are all sort of beneficiaries of this, uh, of this process. At these points, what happens to the FDI graphs of America? So, uh, you see FDI, by the way, America is both a recipient of FDI and a, a, a source of FDI for other countries. So I don't know off the top of my head what the net figure is, but people forget that, it, you know, America itself is a, is a huge recipient of FDI from other countries. I don't know what the net number is at the end of it. So there you go. They're also getting huge amounts of FDI and they're, they're... What happens in 2015 that they get this spike? Is it the presidential election? No, no. You, no. you first of all, don't get too obsessed about individual These. spikes. Okay. It depends on decisions get at certain point in time. I think this is a net number. So as, you know, some, some... There was a sudden drop down, must be money's going out hmm. or whatever. I'm, I, I haven't studied this particular graph, but what I'm trying to say is that don't get too worked up about, you know, there are a one very big investment can skew the thing uh, gotcha. or they can be bunching for maybe by pure chance sometimes. Gotcha. So look over, over a period of time, you can see that 
America is a major recipient of FDI in its own right. Yeah. Even even as it is giving FDI out to other countries. But you've okay. got the general idea. Yes. So gotcha. I think the overarching point is look there is a lot of people are now looking at a China 1 plus 1 strategy. Yes. People are pulling out that money. They are going to other countries. We are a beneficiary of that. Vietnam is also a beneficiary of that. uh this idea that you know they are, everything is going there and not coming to us is not true we are getting as you could so so are getting more fdi than vietnam is but yes i mean there are smaller countries so per capita or whatever they were maybe doing better than us uh but that's not the point in sheer size we are getting more and similarly in uh, bangladesh also they are getting in certain areas they are doing well and and i think we should stop obsessing about uh, uh, just the fact that you know other countries do well yes good good for them and as i said these are friendly countries why are we holding it against them the reason i'm doing such a random conversation with you mm-hmm. is because i've never ever studied economics even in school okay. so this is the closest i get to getting educated yeah. by an expert like yourself so don't yeah. mind the random deep <laughs> dives and i would also represent a large section of the audiences mm. who have been grilled to become doctors and engineers since they were kids if you enjoyed this clip from the ranvi show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone